second. Hi guys, welcome back to 22nd part of the Arduino tutorial. In my previous video, I have shown how to transfer a data from your smartphone over Bluetooth and control a LED using that data. So in continuation to that video, today we'll be doing a home automation project. Along with the LED, we'll be also adding one more motor, which you can think it as a fan or a pump. So we'll control a LED as well as this motor. For this tutorial, you need an Arduino board, Bluetooth module, a LED, a DC motor. I'm taking a 12 volt DC motor, you can go with anyone. L293 motor driver, a power supply, also a smartphone, and some jumper wires. The connection part I have completely explained in my previous video, so I'd highly recommend you. To watch my previous tutorial before coming to this here just we'll be adding the motor driver and the motor so input 1 and input 2 of motor driver will go to digital pin 2 and 3 and the enable 1 pin will go to the PWM pin I'm connecting to pin 6 And this is for the 12 volt power supply for the motor. So this is the complete code from my previous tutorial. You can get the link in the description just for controlling LED. Now we'll add three more pins to control a DC motor along with this in the declaration section. Input 1 is connected to pin 2, input 2 connected to pin 3 and enable pin is connected to a PWM pin 6. So all these three pins are output, we'll make it as output inside the setup, we'll copy the same. Two, three and six yeah. inside the loop section we have used character a and b for led so now we have configured c d and e for the motor so again i'll copy the same the character received is c our fans should switch off so here both input and input one and input two will be low also the enable one pin will be zero two will be low and even three will be low similarly for pwm pin will be analog right six will be zero for further logic i'll be copying this same if statement And if the character is D, let's make fan to rotate with a slower speed. So one pin will be high and other will be low. And the duty cycle will give it around 100. And the last if statement will be for the fan high speed, which will be E. So one pin will be high, other will be low and the duty cycle for maximum speed is 255 yeah. that's it the code now we'll upload this inside the application we'll do the configuration required for this project go to preference name so initially it was l1 for our previous project we'll make it as led on second button will be LED off so this will be fan off fan low and the last button will be fan high 
so next go to command so already we have a and b for button 1 and 2 so the third button will be c just make sure to watch our previous tutorial completely before coming into this and fourth will be d and the fifth button will be e yeah, we'll make use of the same characters in the code as well so on the home page you get this interface now coming to the working part of it first connect the power supply for the motor driver pair the hc05 module with your smartphone and inside application click on connect and select the bluetooth module so this is for led on and led off and similarly in the fan we have two speed fan low and fan high So this was all about the home automation tutorial. According to your project requirements, you can even add multiple LED and motors. Also, if you want to control the AC devices, just use the relay with the Arduino board. You can check out the tutorial on relay module. Thank you for watching guys. If you have any doubts, just leave a comment below. For more tutorials, you can subscribe to us and also follow us on Instagram. And I'll see you again in the next tutorial.